Welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit these basic baby mittens. They're so easy to make, I'd say they're ideal for beginners. Now, the baby mittens that we're going to knit in the tutorial are for babies between one and six months old, but you can easily make them for a newborn baby and up to 12 months old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. I will also leave the link to the matching little hat and baby booties, and I will also leave the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer written pattern okay let's get started and thank you for watching okay so here to begin i'll be using these 3.5 millimeter circular kneading needles i'm going to make these little mittens in the round so i'm going to use the magic loop technique these needles here i believe are 64 inch with the magic loop technique the longer the needles the better so that's why I'm going to use these long ones here. Now, the yarn that I'm using, it's Erin Weight. This is the yarn that I'm going to use. It's called Paint Box. It's the same one that I used to make the little hat. Now, the equivalent to this would be uh, a number four, or you can also use 10 ply. Now, to begin, the first thing we need to do is we need to cast on 26 stitches. So to cast on my stitches, I'm going to put both needles like this, and I'm going to wrap the yarn around uh, 20 times or actually i'm gonna wrap it 26 times it shouldn't be off by that much so let's see that's two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six i'm going to add a tiny bit more So here we have enough yarn for about 26 stitches. Make a loop here. Now insert both needles through here. I'm going to move my hats here out of the way. So this yarn here is coming from the yarn that we measured and this here is coming from the skein. Insert your index finger like this and open the yarn. And we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop like this and i'm going to do this until i have 26 stitches now you can use any other method to cast on your stitches i just happen to like this method because once we're done this part here around the cuff it's not uh, too tight it's kind of stretchy that's why i like this method of casting on your stitches so i'm going to continue until i have 26 stitches and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished casting on my stitches. I have 26 stitches here. Now carefully remove one of the needles and now we're going to divide our stitches in half. So we have 26, but I'm going to keep my stitches with an even number. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. I'm going to split it here and then I have 14 here on this side. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Yes. So now we're going to push our cable. Here's our working yarn. Make sure that it's always in front of the needle here in the back. And now to join in the round, we're just going to begin with the first row. Here I'm going to do knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Now I'm going to do this for a total of, I believe these are 18 rows. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yes, 18 rows. So here, pull the needle from the back and we're going to join in the round by knitting the first stitch. So knit the first stitch and then we're going to purl. So knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. I'm going to do this to the end here. Purl. Now drop that needle, 
turn, push your cable, pull a needle from the back, and start again. My last stitch here was a purl, so this stitch here I need to knit. And then purl. Knit. Purl. The first row is always the hardest, especially when we have so little stitches here. and then purl. The last stitch here has to be a purl. If for some reason you end with a knit and you have 26 stitches somewhere along here or here, you have messed up. So you probably have two knits or two purls. Now push that cable, grab the needle from the back, and then repeat the same thing. Knit the first stitch, purl, knit, Pearl. This is all I'm going to do and I'm going to show you once again how to go from this needle to the other. So knit and purl. Here's my last stitch. Drop that needle, turn, push your cable, grab the needle from the back, And start again. This was a purl, so now I'm going to start with a knit and purl, knit, purl, and here's my last stitch. It's a purl. Drop that needle, turn, and then repeat the exact same thing I just showed you here in the second row. Again, grab the needle from the back and start with a knit and then purl. Continue like this until we have 18 rows, and this is what it's going to look like with 18 rows. If you want to make this part here longer, you can. As you can see, I think it's fine. That's what it looks like when folded, so you could probably add more rows. I only did 18. So continue, let's do this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 18 rows. Now this part here is measuring, let's see, it's measuring about six and a half centimeters, which is about two and a half inches. Now what we're going to do in the next row, so this would be row 19, is we're going to knit each one of these stitches, including the purl stitches, so that all of our stitches are facing in the same direction. So this is what I'm going to do. Just knit all of these stitches, drop that needle, turn, push your cable, pull the needle from the back, and then do the same thing here. Okay, here's the last stitch, and row 19 is complete. Now turn for row 20. This is what we're going to do. Here we're going to create these little holes here so that you can pass a ribbon here all around the cuff or maybe make a chain. So to do this, pull your needle. We're going to yarn over and then we're going to knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, and yes, I'm knitting these through the back loop. Yarn over again, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. And this is all we're going to do for this 20th row. Knit two together, yarn over, 
knit two together yarn over continue like this to the end of this row okay i finished this 20th row here at the end i knit two together so now for this row including all of the yarn overs and the knit stitches you should have 26 stitches as well make sure you count them we don't want to lose any stitches here so now for row 21 pull the needle and we're going to knit across including the yarn overs so knit and then knit knit drop that needle turn push your cable pull the needle from the back and then repeat knit the yarn overs and knit to the knit stitches continue like this to the end of this row 21 okay I finished making row 21 drop that needle turn now what we're going to do from here on is this part here we're going to start here and we're going to do a total of 16 rows so we're going to count these little bumps that's 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 and then we're going to start to reduce so here I highly recommend that you put a stitch marker to mark the beginning of the row because what we're going to do is one row we're going to knit the next one we're going to purl here since I already knit I'm going to purl the next row and then I'm going to knit and then purl all of the stitches so here we're going to I think it's best to start counting rows because then that way all you count are the little bumps here until you have 16 so this row here this is going to be row one I am going to purl so put the yarn in front and purl across now drop that needle turn push your cable and do this side so purl across purl the next and so on to the end of this first row actually this is going to be the let's say this is the second row because you're going to count this bump here and that's row two so we're right here right now so that's row two so the last row that we did where I knit that would have been row one so so here we're going to turn now for the second row or actually for the third row put the stitch marker here push your cable and now this row I'm going to knit Here's the last one, turn. Pull the needle and knit. I'm here at the end. Here's my last stitch, turn. And now put your stitch marker here and you're going to purl the next row. So that was two, three, so this is the fourth row. This is all I'm going to do until I have a total of 16 rows. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 so row 17 is where we're going to start to decrease so continue like this knit one row purl the next knit purl knit purl and then i'll meet you back to show you what we need to do next
Okay, I finished making my 16 rows. Now in the next row, I need to knit. So we're going to start to reduce here and we're going to reduce only on the knit rows. We're going to continue with the same thing, purl one row and then knit the next, but in the knit rows, we're going to reduce. So here for the 17th row, we're going to knit two. So that's one and two, and then we're going to knit two together. And then again, repeat, knit two, and then knit two together. Now again, knit two, knit two together. Drop that needle, turn, push your cable. Now here I did knit two together, so here I'm going to start with knit two. one, two, and then knit two together. Knit two, knit two together. Knit two, knit two together. And then finish with knit two. Now at the end of this 17th row, you should have 20 stitches. Now we're going to turn, and in the next row, we're going to purl. So row 18, all we do is just purl each one of the stitches. Just like this. So continue for this 18th row, and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished row 18, that's where I purled. Now for row 19, this is where we're going to do our second row reduction. So here I'm going to knit three. One, two, three, then knit two together. And then knit three, one, two, Three. Now this stitch here is in this cable. I want it to be on the other side because I need to knit two together. So turn, push your cable, grab the needle from the back, and then here we're going to knit two together. And then knit three, knit, oops, that's three, knit two together, knit three, and then knit two together. Perfect. Now at the end of this 19th row, you should have 16 stitches. Turn, push your cable, pull the needle from the back, and for row 20, we are going to purl across. So all of these stitches, we're going to purl again. Continue, finish this 20th row, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the 20th row. In row 21, we're going to reduce. So here we're going to knit two, and then knit two together, knit two, and then knit two together, but this stitch is here, so I'm going to pass it to the other side so drop this needle, turn, and we're going to knit two together. Then knit two, knit two together, knit two, and finish with knit two together. There. Now turn for the, let's see, for row 22, we're going to purl. 
And let's see, purl, whoops. Bring the yarn in front and purl. Oh, I forgot to mention at the end of the 21st row, you should have 12 stitches. So for row 22, we're just going to purl. Continue, finish, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making row 22 and that row we purled. So now I have 12 stitches left. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Now here I have five. I'm going to bring one more stitch from the other needle here so that I don't have to keep on going to the back side. Just keep them in an even number on both sides. So six and six. Two, four, six, two, four, six, perfect doesn't really matter you don't have to do this I just think it'll be easier so now for row 23 we're also going to reduce so to do this we're going to knit two together this is going to be the last row so knit two together knit two together knit two together turn and again knit two together knit two together and knit two together Now we have six stitches, turn, and we're not going to make any more rows, so we're going to cut our yarn, that's what it looks like. Now this pattern here can easily be adjusted to make bigger or longer, that would be up to you. It's very stretchy, that's why the size here is for baby between one to six months. If you want to make it for newborn, I'll leave the uh, needle size that you can use to make it smaller. So here we're going to cut our yarn, leave a little tail there. Pass your yarn through this needle and now we're going to remove these stitches. So here's my last stitch. I'm going to go here to this needle and remove these three stitches. Pull your cable. And we're going to remove these three. Oops. Now this loop here, don't let it go because we're going to make a knot here. So don't pull it all the way. Now we can remove the needle, pull. And this here, we're going to insert the needle like this, like that. So then that creates a little knot, but first, we're going to pull our stitches here like this so that this part here closes neatly. And here's the top. And that's what it looks like. Now just insert your needle through the inside here, through the center, turn it over, whoops. And then just go all around here and reinforce the top so that it doesn't open. Make sure you pull and just find a spot, make a knot somewhere. There, I'm going to go ahead and do that after you, but you get the point. The point is to just reinforce that part so that it doesn't open. Turn this over now. Here's the top right there. And the little mitten is all done. I just need to hide that end there. And that's what it looks like. Look how beautiful that is. So tiny and perfect. There. Now let me try it on my little model here. Here's my baby doll's hand. So let's try it on. Perfect. 
Now, that's what it looks like. Now, his hand is like this. That's why you see a little bump here, but it's perfect. Now, it's a stretchy stitch, so that's why it will fit up to six months. Now, you can certainly make it longer if you like or wider just by adding more stitches here. Uh, there is no stitch multiple, so you basically can add as many stitches and adjust the pattern to make it for even bigger children. It's just a basic mitten pattern. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make a chain here so that I can put, um, I can just weave it here through the row that we did here in the center. And then um, that's all I'm going to do. So the little mitten is all done. And here's the little hat that I did to match the little mittens. They're so cute and perfect. And here's the little set that I did for boys with the same stitch, it's just a different color and the cute little pompons. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.